hello wow 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 we're already in the second month in the new year the year is no longer new <laughs> this is february 2024 my name is franklin wilson and i'm so excited coming your way today it's a beautiful month i know already and i know that the year has been coming on well for you don't forget that this is your life center network your gateway to possibilities and it's still your program, the power seeds, you know, empowering your life. So the topic for today is the destiny key, the destiny key, the destiny key. Now it's so important because this topic is so important and coming to you today because we don't want you to miss out on your destiny this year. And the key test is Acts 2032. And now I commend you to God and to the power of and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you the inheritance among those who are sanctified i want you to take note of this scripture i just read now he said and now i commend you to god and to the word of his grace which is able number one to build you up then number two to give you an inheritance amongst all those who are sanctified background and thoughts on the test every destiny room has a door and a key every destiny room has a door and a key until a person finds the key to the room he wishes to enter he may stay locked out forever and I pray that this year may you not be locked out on that particular destiny room you need to enter for your dreams and your goals to come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ what destiny room do you desire to enter this year or even this month understand that life is sometimes a puzzle life is sometimes a puzzle until you find its key, you will have no solution. Until you find the key to that level you want to enter into, to that thing you are desiring, to that place you want to be in, you may have no solution. Thankfully, the key to the challenges of life is not necessarily a mystery. It is the revelation of the Word of God. It is the revelation of the Word of God. It is a revelation of the Word of God. Just put your hand on your chest, say in the name of Jesus, this year I receive revelation in the Word of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. So as we read in, the, in today's test, I, I told you to, to, to put the test for today in your mind. God's Word is the element in a believer's life that delivers everything they could ever desire or hope for. You see, the Word of God is like a seed just like if you want to eat corn for instance you need to plant a corn seed if you want to grow mangoes for instance you need a mango seed to be able to produce a mango tree if you want orange for instance you need an orange seed to be able to grow oranges the same way the beautiful thing about the word of god is that the word of god is one seed both it can only grow what you want it to grow for you the Word of God is like water it doesn't have a particular shape it doesn't have you know a particular color but the water takes the color the shape of the container you've poured it into that's how the Word of God is so as we read into this that God's Word is the element in the believers life that delivers everything that they could ever desire or hope for so the word of god desire delivers to god's children everything made available to us by our father but the question is how committed are you to the word of god that's one question i wanted to answer right now and answer for yourself how committed are you to the word of god when you read the bible does it feel like a storybook or does it communicate life's truth to you when you read the bible does it feel like a storybook 
or do you receive life out of it do you receive answers out of it do you receive solutions out of it let's look at daniel daniel in the land of his captivity read and understood by books the scriptures that the jews were going to remain in captivity for 70 years it was this revelation that prompted him to rise to raise a petition to God for the freedom of the Jews. You see that in Daniel 9, 2 to 4. You see, your life can be like Daniel right now. Think about it. If Daniel had read the Bible in his day and the Bible was like a storybook, he would have just seen it as, oh, look at this story that was written in so and so and so in Daniel, you know, in the book of uh, 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 Jeremiah that, ah, these people are going to enter captivity and are going to stay for this number of years. But for him, it was not just a story. For him, he saw it as a revelation. Say, ah, God said we are to stay here for 70 years. And 70 years have passed. Oh God, change our story. Why? Because it wasn't just a story for him. It was revelation. And it pushed him to action, to pray and intercede until God honored his word and delivered them from captivity now application what are you trusting god for this month what are you trusting him for this month if you don't have something you're trusting god for right now take a pen and paper trust him for something what are your expectations for february is he a spouse is he a child is he a job are you believing god for favor if it is favor favor in what area because favor, just believing for favor is vague. Favor in what area? Financial favor. Favor in your office. Favor for what? Is it healing? What is the challenge? Whatever it is, the key is in the word of God. Make up your mind to get to the word. Search the scriptures. Your solution is in there. So if you are wordless, you will become swordless. So you need the word. If you are wordless, you won't have seeds. If you, if you don't have the word, you won't be able to create anything. It's like the creating material that God has given us. Anything destiny holds and could deliver to you has been delivered to you via God's word. So if you learn the word and keep growing in it, it will prevail over your challenges. Trust me. Can you make up your mind this month to invest on the word? To search the scriptures in the areas of your expectation. Hear me? Don't be lazy. Don't be careless. Don't be nonchalant about what I'm talking about right now. Let God's word be your priority this month. Let it be the priority this month. Make it a priority in your life. Make it something you cannot do without this month. Read the word. Study it. Study it. Ask God for a revelation of himself through the word. Meditate on it. Believe it. Confess it and act on it. If you can do this this month, nothing will lock up your destiny. Nothing will be able to stop you from achieving whatever it is you want to achieve. Nothing will stop your answers from entering your hand. I want you to know, make up your mind that above all this month, don't stay locked out of your destiny. Fight to sit down to study. Listen, let your greatest fight this month be to sit down to study. Let it be your greatest fight. Let it be your greatest fight. The battle to discipline yourself to sit down and study the word. If you can do that, nothing will stop you this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just pray with me. Say, O oh Lord, by the entrance of your word, I gain access to my destiny inheritance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I want to ask you at the action plan. Do you have a study, a study plan? Do you have a plan? If you don't have, please. There is access right now. Get your power seat. There is already a one year Bible study plan attached in the power seat. Get it. You can get your soft copy. You can go on online right now. Type in www.gicfamily.org. Just get, get in on it. 
you will see the PowerC there. You can be able to download it for yourself. Or if you're in, if you're in the city of Port Harcourt or in Nigeria, you can call us. We can we bill the PowerC to you. You pay for your copy and we can send it to you wherever you are. So make sure you get your own copy today. There is a one year Bible plan there and you need it to be able to unlock your destiny. I see you unlock your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Franklin Wilson and this is Encounters with the Power Seed. And don't forget, we will be here again tomorrow on this same station, Life Center Network, your gateway to possibilities. So until we come your way again tomorrow, keep living in this atmosphere filled with encounters. Happy New Month. Bye.